Hello everybody, glad you could make it. My name is Kayleigh Allen and welcome to this week's video. Yes, it is different. I'm actually sat in my office at home. This is extremely makeshift. I know, it looks... it's not great, right? It's not great. But we're rolling with it today. Because today I'm going to react to one of those potentially dumb, haven't seen it yet, articles that we find online about rare plants. Now normally I cover these and it's always about how expensive they are, but today we're going to cover the top rare house plants for 2024 by a person whose names I can't pronounce, so I'm not going to try, apologies, written on the 23rd of December 2023. Okay, so it's reasonably recent, it's reasonably recent. I haven't read it, we're going to read it together and we're going to see what kind of crap it's got in it. Or maybe, just maybe, it's decent. I'll give you my opinions as we go along, shall we? Quick shout out before we start this video. My feed is live on Amazon and I will leave the link down below if you're interested in getting from there. It is only live in the UK. Sorry guys, I know we're working on it. Believe me, we're working on it. But for now, you can get my feed in the UK on Amazon as well as the usual channels through my shop. Just depends what you prefer. Merch. This merch right here is obviously in the description as well and let's just get straight into it. Right, the top rare house plants for 2024. Transform your indoor sanctuary with one of the rarest house plants for the new year. Oh, we're gonna go, right, we are doing top rare. So these, this should have better be rare then basically, or rare in some sense, right? I'm willing to be lenient. The market has changed. Let's just see where this takes us. Step into 2024, infusing a touch of lush utopia into your living space with the grace of greenery. These aren't your run of the mill house plants. We're delving into the realm of rare and expensive specimens that redefine the elegance of plant life. Embark on a journey into the world of opulent houseplants beyond being mere potted wonders. They embody the essence of living art. I mean, that's a bit strong, okay? That's a bit strong. Don't worry, I'm not going to put on that accent to read the entire thing, can you imagine? All right, so they're starting pretty strong. By the way, I want to say this. I know I've reacted to stuff like this before, and I know that a lot of it's made by, like, AI and stuff like that. Like, I get it, it's still dumb. But, Teddy, pack it in. My cats are trying to get in because they don't like locked doors. You can really offend a cat by having a locked door, all right? But they're trying to get in. So, yeah, I, I know that AI does all this, potentially. We will see if we can tell whether it's AI or not. I don't really care, it's entertaining enough. Right, okay. I've got a table of contents, so I know what the plants are, but I'm just going to skip straight past it and not take any notice because it doesn't matter. I don't assume these are in order, so it doesn't matter anyway. Right, number one out of nine. Yep, nine, not ten, nine. So number one out of nine, we have the black bat flower, also known as the taka... <gasps> taka something churi. Oh my god, no, I can't remember what it is. Basically, the, the bat plant, bat flower, whatever it's calling it. It's, it is what it is. I don't think it's rare. I'll start by saying that. Mesmerize your senses with the dark allure of the bat flower. Flower. Beyond mere flora, its dramatic performance with petals resembling bat wings. Native to Southeast Asia, it adds tropical mystique to your space. Treat it like the royalty it is. It craves indirect light and high humidity. But remember, even divas need their space. Avoid overwatering. Let's not do this whole like water it but don't water it thing throughout because I can't be bothered with it. I can't be bothered with it. I really, I don't have time today for this shit. Right, so basically, bat flower. I had one a long time ago and I never got it off the ground. Billy! Sorry guys, if there's a ton of jump cuts, it's me shouting at my cats and then continuing. Sorry. So basically, bat flower. I had one, oh my god, 2018. It never got off the ground. I can't remember if I put it in the biob or not. Totally unsure. But it, it was all right. I just... <sighs> I think, I question the high humidity. I think it needs quite a bit and I don't think it likes warm temperatures. And I'm only saying this because I saw it in a botanic garden once, I believe in Edinburgh. And I don't think it was in like the hot, hot greenhouse. I think it was where all the anthuriums were. So I'm guessing it likes a bit of elevation. Therefore, it's a bit cooler. So just so you know, I think it likes it humid, but a bit cooler. But I mean, I wouldn't say it was rare. I'm sure you can find these. I'm sure you can find these. Oh no, 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 no. I knew they would, I knew they would pull something like this. I knew it. I knew it. Number two out of nine. Number two out of nine. We have the pink princess philodendron with a very nice photograph of it. I mean, it needs a chop, but you know, it's decent. Let's see what they say. Let's see what they say. Because clearly, whoever's written this has not caught up at all. Let me get to that in one moment. Reigning supreme, the pink princess philodendron is the monarch of your indoor jungle. Wait, I thought the other one was. Are we going to say everything's king and queens? Didn't some... Wasn't something else that? Uh... Yeah, treat it like the royalty it is. So they're, they're all, we're all royal. But I guess, you know, princess. All right, fair. Yeah, okay. Whatever. Dark green leaves adorned with hot pink variegation make it the crown jewel. This regal beauty commands a hefty price. Small specimens for 100 to 300 dollars. Did you know, guys? Did you know? And significant variegation for a thousand dollars or more. Are you happy? 
having a laugh. Were they ever like that? Answers on a postcard, were they ever that much? Were Pink Princess ever a thousand? Because as long as I knew, I think they were in the, they're in the early hundreds, I would say, I think that was fair. And obviously I'm talking about the height of COVID in like 2020 when everything was just insane. I think they were maybe like, oh, could you get one maybe for $500 or something? Maybe at a push? A thousand dollars or more? You must be joking, you must be joking. I wish they would say more about these plans because they're not really saying anything. There's a tiny little paragraph about them. Real shame, I would love to have absolutely torn them a new one. Yeah, newsflash for anybody that is new, no, they are not that much. They, I don't personally believe they've ever been that much. I feel like, right, rant, rant incoming. Whenever people make these articles, they do it on the basis that they literally, they search for these plants usually on Etsy, right? It's nearly always on Etsy and I don't fucking know why, but they search for them on Etsy and they look at the top hits, right? They deliberately order these plants by like most expensive to least expensive, right? And you always get some absolute nutter trying to sell something for thousands when it's not. And because you get this a lot with variegated Monstera. I don't know if it's featured in this article or not. I didn't really look, but you get the same thing with that. And it's normally people trying to sell it for thousands when it's just not worth it. Although come up with a stupid name for it and we've got to stop doing the minimum when we write articles i don't give a shit if it's ai or not to be quite honest i really don't we need to stop doing the minimum because you're saying these are things that people should buy and i think if i rocked up on this channel and did that i think there'd be hell on if i got shit like this wrong so i'm just saying i'm just saying we could do without it right? Just fucking take the average. Don't skim the top. Don't skim the top. We don't like it. We don't want it. Run over. <laughs> Let's carry on. Guys, I've got cat hair dangling right off my nose and I... <sighs> I cannot, I cannot deal with it. Right, next plant on the list, three of nine. Are you ready, guys? The Alocasia aslanii. Now then, this used to be rare according to what I knew before I say anything about it, but I think it is in box stores now. I'm pretty sure. And again, I'm saying this before I Google it. Commanding attention with its dark green leaves and red veins. Okay. The Alocasia aslanii is a red dragon from Malaysia, not for the faint of heart. Exotic beauty demands extra care. No, it's not this exotic, it's just exotic beauty. Demands extra care and its price ranges from $300 to $1,000, depending on size and quality. A diva in the botanical realm. No, 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 no. Stop pulling this shit. This is ridiculous. If this is AI, right, then someone needs to get in touch and sort it out because this is actually insane. Has it ever been that much? Has it ever been that much, right? Pink Princess, I'll take it, right? Because there'll be someone somewhere doing it, whatever else, right? And Pink Princess was extremely sought after. I don't think at any point that this was super sought after. So the reason for it therefore being this much kind of eludes me. I just... Isn't that the same price they quote for the last one? 300, 2000? Come on, man. Same as the last one. I don't, I don't like what you're doing. I don't like what you're doing. What is your name? Is it a person? I'm assuming it is a person. So, so heavy. No, I can't. I don't want to mispronounce people's names. So I'm not trying to be offensive or anything. I just, and I'm not trying to not name them. I just, I don't want to get it wrong, guys, okay? But whoever you are, real or not, this is ridiculous. You should, when people write these articles, right, they should say like, oh, it has been that much in the height of COVID and blah, 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 and actually put, for God's sakes, put a screenshot of an auction or something in. It would spice it up so much because people would actually believe the shit that they're reading. I mean, some people might believe this, I don't even know, but no wonder in the media, we were all like just chastised for liking rare shit because people were getting the wrong information. Now, again, people did spend a lot of money on plants, but you get my point. Like we got criticized for liking things that were apparently in box stores. And it's like, no, shit on the internet is just wrong. <laughs> we're not that crazy. You know what I mean? Ah, right. Mm, interesting. Four out of nine, Philodendron Spiritus Sancti. Okay, okay. Let's just read it first, okay? I'll try not to dive in. Let's just read it first. Let's just read it first. Named for heart-shaped leaves. That is what it says. This long-leafed philodendron from Brazil is a holy grail for collectors. Spirit of the Holy Ghost, 
it fetched over $9,600 online. A rare find and testament to the art of plant collecting. Well, oh, where do you start? Where do you start? I, again, back to that time. And we're always going to go back to that time because that's that was the peak of plant prices. But back in COVID, I'm pretty sure there was one that went for that much. And I think it was, it was not like the first Spiritus that was actually going to be sold on the open market because before that, they just weren't. I think I got mine in 2019. Can't have been 2020. Um, and that's when we had Spirit Escape where they didn't think mine was real. Credit to people, they thought that because they weren't around. Okay, fair enough. And I do think at some point someone sold one online. It, was, it wasn't small though. It wasn't like this little thing. It was huge. And I think it did fetch a few thousand. I think that was in the US. Can't remember, guys. Can't remember. And I probably can't put a picture of that in for you because it was so long ago. I don't... I'll try. If you're seeing it, great. But if not, it's because it's too old now at this point. And obviously auctions get taken down. So, heart-shaped leaves. I, I have absolutely no idea <laughs> why anyone would say that and following it up with a long-leafed plant. But okay, fine. Um, rare find and a testament to the art of plant collecting. Listen, guys, it's not rare anymore, okay? And I never thought I'd say that this soon. But as we all know, or most of us may know, it has been hit by TC, which means that there are a lot around. Now, they still have a bit of a value to them, but they, that value is going to continue to drop. It's reasonably, dare I say, at the time of recording this video, it's stable-ish. You can get it for low triple figures, I think. But generally speaking, it's not rare anymore. And, and I'm not saying, like, don't get things because they're not rare. And you know I don't say that on this channel. So before anyone comes for me, that's not what I'm saying. I'm just saying I don't like... Stuff like this hypes up plants. It either hypes up plants or it makes people think we're just generally nuts. And it makes people... It's possible that it makes people not even want to get into the community because they think, wow, this is like... I'm... You know what I mean? I can't get things like this. And it, I, I, I just don't like the vibe. I don't like the vibe. Plus, it's running off outdated info, let's be honest. But anyway, I digress. Have we only had one non-philodendron on here so far? Mmm, we have. Oh no, we've had the bat flower as well. And then we had the alocasia, but the rest being philodendron. Right, five out of nine, let's move on. Philodendron totem. Oh dear. I don't know about anywhere else, but it's certainly tissue cultured around here in the UK. For the enigmatic and extraordinary, the philodendron totem is a botanical muse with long twisted leaves resembling corkscrews. A climbing masterpiece from Brazil. Again, is it really? It defies convention with a price tag ranging from $500 to $1,500. A twist of rarity worth every penny. The irony, I can't even tell you. So let me just say, there is philodendron totem, right? Some people actually confuse this plant. Not many, but some people confuse it with philodendron polypoidioides. And it is a plant I've actually wanted for a while. And I want to say that's been TC'd as well. Not sure. Correct me if I'm wrong in the comments. I think it has. I would love to get some in, to be honest. I really like them. I've always wanted one. It's been on my wish list for a long time, I think. But again, not rare at all. These are in garden centres in the UK. M the maximum you could probably find it for, I'm guessing, would be about 30, 30 great British pounds, something like that. I got one a couple of years ago. I think it's still in the bottom of the living wall. I don't know if it's alive or not, if I'm honest. I got one and it was round about 30 pounds. And I will never forget it because I went to pay for it at the till in like a... Not a big garden centre, like a very small garden centre. And I went to pay for it. And she sort of stopped and looked at me. And I was like, oh, okay. And she turned around and went, do you know how to look after that? And I was like, yeah. <laughs> She's like, you sure? Because it's a lot of money. I'll never forget because she said it's a lot of money to be spending on a plant. <laughs> and I was like, no, it's all right. I got it. <laughs> I'll be fine. But I'll never forget that because I, I did chuckle um, leaving the garden centre that day. I really did. That was cute because obviously I've dropped scary amounts of money on plants that I absolutely do not advise, by the way. That is not a flex. I literally do not advise doing that. It's not a good idea. But I always found that funny. But yeah, long story short, super available. I don't know if they've ever been that much money. I almost think it's possible that they could be talking about the philodendron polypoidioides, but I'm not sure. Oh, this is one I can't even comment on, but we'll read it anyway. Six out of nine, the Shenzhen, Shenzhen non Orchid. Born from eight years of scientific experiments, this orchid from a Chinese lab sold for a staggering $224,000 in 2005? Blooming once every five years, it's a testament to pa patience and craftsmanship. A prestigious member of the eight most expensive houseplants. Why are we doing an article on the eight most expensive houseplants? That's what I want to know. I need to track that down. If you track that down, guys, send it to me on the email on the screen, which is where you can send anything for me to react to, read, whatever you want, by the way. Um, and I will react to that because I don't know what the eight most expensive houseplants even are. Who knows? But I think we know it's going to be wrong. Yeah, I have no comment on that. It sounds like it could be a 
a little bit more accurate, ironically, because it's taken from 2005, and I'm not sure how much press this has. Orchid lovers, I know some of you are out there. Let me know what the tea is with this, and if it's true or not, because I literally cannot comment. Similarly, <laughs> I cannot comment on this one. Seven out of nine, this is the 800-year-old bonsai tree. Behold, <laughs> that is a really cool tree though. Does it actually grow like that? Or has it got like a sculpture bit of wood attached to it? Because that's, I would have that. I would, oh, I wouldn't for that price. Jesus Christ, okay. Behold, the 800 year old bonsai tree, a living testament to time's passage. Oh, that sounds lovely. This pint-sized wonder fetched a staggering 1.3 million at a Japanese bonsai exhibition. More than a plant, it's a resilient symbol of history and endurance, bringing grandeur to any green sanctuary. I feel like we've read something like this before in one of my old Old, like uh, things where I read rare houseplant articles. I'm sure there's something like this in there and I probably said the same thing. Look, don't know if it's real or not. Maybe, maybe not. Not sure. Uh, can't comment on it really. Number eight out of nine. I cannot read this. Cacti lovers, you're gonna love this one. This one's for you. Hargeocerus. Tenui. Tell me if I got that right. I don't know. It looks like little willies with flowers on them. It's very cute. Meet the HT, we're going to call it for short. The cactus with a draw dropping price tag of 250 grand. Jesus. A disappearing act in the cactus world, this creeping prostate. It does say that. I swear it does say that. This creeping prostate cactus is a rare find, dwindling in numbers each year. Again, cacti lovers, I know there will be some of you out there. I know it's few and far between on this channel, but you will be out there. Tell me if this prostate cactus, uh, looking how it do, be fetching 250k. I'd love to know. We'd all love to know. Uh, oh, they've not disappointed us with number nine. I can see a picture of it and I've never heard of this shit before. Here we go, guys. Are you ready? Okay. Nine out of nine. Monstera extravaganza. I don't know either. I don't know either. Right, here we go. Here we fucking go. Okay. In the realm of botanical extravagance, Monstera plants reign supreme. The Monstera Peru, a green virtuoso with vibrant splashes. What have you been talking about? Commands $700 to $5,000. While the white variegated Raphidophora tetrasperma. Oh no. Oh no, no, no. Oh no, no. A rare variation was sold for $19,300. The large Monstera obliqua with intricate holes took center stage at 23,000. Coveted status symbols, variegated Monsteras set a new record with an Adansonia variegata fetching a staggering $38,000. What? Bright indirect sunlight, <laughs> let's tell us how to grow them since we clearly all have them at that price. Bright indirect sunlight would encourage fast growth. In general, all monsters are considered mildly toxic to humans and animals to keep this leafy pal out of reach from fur babies and human babies. What the fuck did I just read? Let's break this down, okay? Because I don't feel like there is a way of doing this without breaking this the fuck down. Okay, so. The title of the plant is Monstera Extravaganza, but they are very obviously talking about loads of different Monstera. One, not even being a Monstera. One, I don't think it exists. We've, we've got a blend, guys. We've got a blend. But my point is, let's just assume this entry is not one plant because nothing makes sense otherwise. So let's just say Monstera is number nine. The Monstera Peru, a green virtuoso with vibrant splashes. What the fuck is that? Because I don't know if you knew this, but Monstera Carstenianum used to be known at one point as Monstera SP Peru or Monstera Peru, right? And that's Carstenianum and you can get a variegated one and whatever else. So fucking maybe, just maybe, that's what they're talking about there. I don't know, your guess is as good as mine. Command $700 to $5,000. I'm sure that's never happened. That has never happened. Because you know why? In 2020, there wasn't even enough of Peru to go around, but it was not the kind of plant where you could fetch that price. Like, not every plant in COVID blew up to thousands of, of dollars worth, right? Not everything did. Obviously, you had things like, yes, the tetrasperma. We'll get to that. We'll get to that. You add that, you have the spiritus, you have oblique. That did a number as well. There was, there was a few plants that did really, really well, and they stretched into the thousands, but not everything did. And I certainly don't think Monstera Peru did. Obviously, I will have probably put a picture on the screen of what it looks like, because, I mean, they're not going to help you guys. They're not going to help you. They're not going to help you. I don't think it was ever that much. Just going to say it. I don't think it was. If it was, great, cool. 
the white variegated Raphidophora tetrasperma, a rare variation was sold for 19,300. Right, listen, I'm gonna say it once, I'm gonna make it real quick because I know we're all sick of it. Raphidophora tetrasperma, the clue's in the name, it's not Monstera, it's a completely different plant. This comes from the confusion because for some reason it's been labeled as mini Monstera. I sort of get why people have done that, but it's actually caused the plant a lot of damage, not necessarily commercially, but it, this sort of shit gets people confused. Okay, it's not, it's Raphidophora, different genus. Now, I understand that most people on this channel probably know that, but I'm just repeating it for argument's sake. Um, the $19,300, I believe that was probably correct. I think that was the, the New Zealand auction where that was that was a wild, wild weekend, I think that one. In again, 2020 or 2021 was that, it was actually a bit later. We get it, fine. Point is, shouldn't really be here. Even if we're talking about Monstera as a group, I'm just gonna say it, I'm just gonna say it. The large Monstera Oblique, last Last time I checked, it wasn't very large, gonna be honest. Not saying they can't size up, guys, but come on. But never mind, we'll just take off the word large. With intricate holes, took center stage at $23,000. <sighs> Surely not, surely not guys, surely not. I was selling like a tiny little, in 2020 this is, obviously you could never fetch that now, can you imagine? In 2020 I was selling like a really small one to two leaf plant. At one point it was a one leaf plant and the leaf was about an inch and a, and a bit uh, for about a thousand pounds. So that's actually more than a thousand dollars, obviously the conversion. Well, the conversion now is quite shit. I don't know how much it was then, but my point is that's how much I was selling it. That was in the height of COVID. Even if I were to sell a big plant with six nodes on it, and mature leaves, I don't think we'd get up to 23K, guys. I don't, and I, I'm, I know I'm saying, like, I wouldn't get that price up. Like, I'm in control of it. Not what I'm getting at. I'm saying I don't think anybody could. Maybe, maybe I'm completely wrong. Maybe there's some shit I didn't know about. I was very famously busy in 2020, as we will all remember. So I've probably missed things, but somehow I think not in this case. Coveted status symbols, variegated monsteras set a new record with an Antonsonii variegata fetching a staggering 38,000. No, man. No, 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 no. I've seen them go for a lot during that time period, but guys, $38,000? I need to know where this person or this AI is getting these numbers from. Somebody please, somebody please explain where these numbers are from. Because if it's AI, right, I don't think they can make it up, right? I'm pretty sure they can't do that. So, Oh, who knows? Literally, who knows at this point? But a person could make it up. Are they making it up? Surely, yes. Surely, yes. Has anyone ever? Good Lord. And again, I don't even think anyone would list it for that amount of money and not even sell it. Jesus. And then just to top it off, they tell you how to grow them. <laughs> it's like, which one? Any of them, even though most of them either don't exist or they're not Monstera, but okay. Um... There is a note at the end of the editor or the author has put, note, these rare house plants are not just static wonders, but living entities that can be propagated through various methods. To ensure their prosperity, well draining potting soil, incorporating perlite or orchid bark for improved drainage and regular feeding with balanced house plant fertilizer are key. However, be mindful that while generally safe for humans, some plants may be toxic to pets. Thorough research or consultation with a veterinarian ensures the well-being of your furry friends. Choose wisely and let your indoor oasis flourish with opulent greenery. Right, so I don't know why you care at this point. I do think that's a bit of AI jargon that, to be honest. It's like, consult your vet. It's like, yeah, okay, but my vet has to know about houseplants. My vet's going to be like, well, read the tag on the houseplant, because my vet probably hasn't got a clue what the plants are. Can you imagine bringing in your plant collection to your vet going like, what do you make of this? It's just stupid, stupid. And I will continue to rag on these article guys, because I, I do just think they're very, very stupid. And this website is called prestigeonline.com. What do you do? What do you do? I want to know. Why does nothing, why is nothing clickable? Nothing is clickable. <sighs> I mean, God knows what else they write on this website and that's kind of the point. But hey, I would love to cover the eight most expensive houseplants in the world. So if you guys find that, let me know. And as I say, send it off to that email. I would love to have a laugh about it, but I'm always going to rag, guys. I'm always going to rag on these articles because it's too fun. It's too fun not to do it. And I'd love to know when this shit is gonna stop, when they're gonna stop quoting silly prices that quite frankly, I don't think we've ever had ever maybe i'm wrong i don't know but i'd love to know what your boy prostate cactus is up to someone needs to tell me all about that i mean with a name like prostate i'm uh i'm gonna go for it was that the name of it i don't know but it was mentioned so i feel like it's pertinent really Anyway, guys, thank you for this video this week. Link to my fertilizer is down below and link to my wonderful merch that you absolutely cannot see in this camera frame is also down below.
below. If you like this video, please leave a like. It lets me know that I'm making content that you enjoy. And if you are not already subscribed, I would absolutely adore it if you could do so, because only 50%, and I know I keep saying it, but the percentage doesn't change. 50% of people that watch my videos are subscribed. So if you'd like to be included, then feel free to do so. That's it for this week's video, guys. I will see you in the next one. Send me some juicy shit. I'm happy to react to it. Bye, guys.